so hal this is venkatesh and uh, i'm going to demonstrate uh, a small example regarding uh, uh, how to prepare a 3d frame uh, of course it's a, it's a building of example i'm sorry it's an example of a building so let's see uh, how to create a model and how to uh, assign properties supports loads and how to check the analysis as well as uh, and how to uh, how to choose uh, how to uh, do the design okay and how to check the design and finally also we'll see about uh, how to uh, uh, perform uh, foundation design with an example of footings okay let's see obviously we have to take a new file so 3d space frame and uh, a building example so here uh, i'm just moving uh, uh, just to take the structure wizard so that uh, we can create uh, predefined models okay so predefined models are nothing but uh, these are the um, models uh, they have given so i'll choose a uh, bay frame here and go with the uh, as these dimensions and i just forward this to my main start model window okay so just selecting uh, total structure and just assigning uh, something say a 230 by 450 cross section it's a rectangular cross section i just moving to supports in the front view i'm just selecting the bottom most loads assigning a fixed support and now coming to the loads uh, here i'll go with uh, two loads there's a dead loads the loading type should be dead and the second one is live loads loading type is live just add it and close now coming to dead loads dead loads are nothing but the total rate of the structure it's nothing but the self weight so in the y direction minus one this is nothing but the gravity loading and the next one is number loads uniform fields is nothing but the udl so minus 12 this is for my external wall loads and minus six this is for my internal wall loads and this is for my parapet wall loading okay and after this floor load floor load is nothing but uh, slab dead weight from the bottommost floor to top floor throughout add it and close self weight should be assigned for the total structure this one minus 12 is nothing but the external wall loads coming out of the structure for this purpose um, I'll select uh, total beams in x and z direction and I'll go for a new view and again here um, I will select uh, all floats except the terrace floor again new view and from the top view I'm going to select all the external beams why because I have my external walls exactly at the border okay minus 12 is going to be assigning for the external walls minus 6 is for internal walls completely so as a shortcut i am going for inverse beam selection and assign minus 6 here exactly at the middle now just come back uh, to see this one what is this display whole structure now minus 2 is nothing but uh, this particular load is a parapet wall load should be applied exactly on the terrace floor i mean the topmost floor and moreover load should be assigned here exactly at this of the beam okay now coming to the live loads live loads are nothing but uh, uh, these are also floor loads but minus 4 should be assigned exactly from bottommost uh, floor to the top floor least with the i mean uh, except the terrace floor 
rest something like this and for terrace floor mm, I have to assign say minus 2 something should be 15 and 15 because uh, the height uh, whatever we mentioned here it is exactly the terrace floor that's it and now coming to the next point load combinations for combinations I'll go for automatic because uh, uh, in an Indian standard as per IS 456 we have some formulae we have a table according to the table the stat just creates uh, the automatic load combinations add it this can be done uh, only by specifying the load type as uh, dead or live whatever it may be based on those combinations only stat will generate automatic combinations and say analysis add it and go for design concrete change the code to IS456 as per Indian standard system select the whole structure and define some parameters basic parameters like uh, concrete strength M20 for example that is uh, 20,000 and the second important one is steel grade FE415 let it be it's 415,000 and close and again coming to the commands here design beam uh, add it and design column also add here take off also close now what we have to do is select this design beam and from select menu beams parallel to x and z ok assign this option and similarly design column should be assigned for the vertical members which are in the y direction ok let it be and uh, save this file or you can do run analysis no problem you can say save here itself also now start performing the uh, processing uh, so this is nothing but uh, now it will it will generate uh, the results the results are nothing but uh, analysis results and design results analysis results are nothing but uh, bending moments shear forces displacements reactions whatever it may be okay now uh, again here we have three options check the output file go to second mode the post processing mode or you can just stay in modeling mode so modeling mode is nothing but uh, this one the back window whatever it is showing this is the modeling window obviously by default we stay in modeling window okay okay if you want to check the results um, design results let's go to output file if you say done you can check here the results okay if you click here concrete design uh, for the total beams uh, quotes for the columns also we got the design so this particular page uh, it gives beam as well as column design results so in brief here instead we can see the things which were given in output file are nothing but the inputs what we mentioned previously or stat will take some defaults something say cover or secondary steel grades okay and the outputs are the steel reinforcement area exactly at uh, particular five sections important sections end sections middle section one fourth and three fourth sections and parallelly the second table represents the steel area according to your bending moment negative or positive whatever it may be so based on that reinforcement uh, area so stat given uh, uh, randomly selected or uh, considered respectively or specifically so and so diameter and so and so numbers and so and so layers and finally in the same table you can see the shear reinforcement here two legged eight dia at so and so spacing center to center similarly uh, you can see the same thing for all the beams which comes under your design beam option parallelly the column design itself also giving the inputs inputs are nothing but grade of concrete and steel uh, these things are assumed as per IS 456 code and it is saying that uh, guiding load case is 3 so third case is the worst case or uh, the maximum bending moment maximum axial load creating cases 
for this particular member and it's a short based column uh, here it is required steel area and required concrete area and of course as per that uh, steel provided and for second reinforcement something like this 8 mm rectangular ties at uh, 7 inches facing center to center and some particular important things also given for the column it's nothing but the PUZ, MUZ, MUY1 uh, the values okay and the interaction ratio values as per the so and so clause of this particular code IS 456 and section capacity based on reinforcement provided so this is a steel area actually we need to incorporate in this column but actually what happened we have provided some 812 so it's 904.78 mm square so based on this particular steel area reinforcement we can I mean this column can take uh, this much of axial load this much of moment etc etc the same thing you can see for the rest of the columns and the um, important and beauty of this particular page regarding this results is suppose if a beam or column got filled let us consider so we can see here so and so column got failed due to so and so reason and similarly for beams also uh, so and so member got failed a beam uh, for so and so reason you can see here it's all for also and the final thing is um, as per our design uh, this is the total uh, quantity of steel we required and this is total quantity of concrete we required for construction purpose or uh, prior to that uh, for estimation purpose calculation of materials so and so okay so this is your output file and you can also check the second mode post processing mode you say yes so let's check beam forces and summary here if you check this particular maximum fx is nothing but uh, 90 tons of uh, maximum axial load coming onto this particular number if you say double click on this you can see um, 1133 mm square of steel actually we need we have to provide them so for that purpose start using 12 12 12 mm 12 mm they are okay similarly you can check here it's nominal it's uh, nominal and this is also nominal 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 and uh, this one is also nominal no problem no issues so that's it and again the next thing is design of uh, foundation so straight away I can uh, go here foundation design and here uh, I'll say I want uh, this particular uh, load case to include here okay it's for all supports or you can specify a particular support selected something like this you can select okay or you can list the support numbers so uh, if I just make it here 63 I can mention something 63 like this okay and this load case included and you say run stat foundation automatically um, what is that the module is going to be open so you can um, perform the rest okay and the same thing I can show in the second video or in the next video so there ends my video file it's regarding uh, how to model a um, typical space frame uh, from the structure wizard uh, option and how to um, continue with the cross sections supports loads analysis options as well as design options and how to check the uh, simple uh, critical column value as well as how to see the steel concrete uh, details of your beams columns part of the design okay so there ends the video i'm closing now here bye